Hello YouTube, Mr. Ozanator here. Quick thanks to everyone who's recently subscribed to me. Um, I've reached 40 subscribers, which is pretty cool. So, thanks for subscribing. Hope you enjoy the video. Got lots more to come, so be sure to keep watching. Today we're going to be creating this pretty simple sound wave type thing. I was looking through some of my old files and I came across this. Um, which was created, believe it or not, in 2007, February 2007. So it's quite a while ago, but we are going to recreate it and make it look even better, hopefully. So we're going to start with a black, black background, create a new layer, pick up your brush tool, set it to standard hard round brush, size 8. Then we're going to pick up our pen tool and just create a straight line through the middle. Hold down shift to make sure it's straight. We're going to right click and stroke the path with white. This is going to be the base to our curve. Not much skill really needed for this tutorial, it's really simple, good for beginners because you're just using the effects built into Photoshop basically. So we're going to duplicate this line quite a few times so that we have enough lines. I'm going to do it about five times so we have six layers seven layers in fact and then I'm going to hide them all apart from the bottom one so we can start building them up. The key feature to this tutorial is going to filter distort wave. Some of you may have not used this before, it basically turns whatever you're using into a squiggly, squiggly <laughs> into a squiggly, into a squiggly line. Make sure type sign is checked if you go to school, which you probably do, or you've been to school, otherwise you'd be some weird person who doesn't go to school. Anyway, um, not hating against people who get homeschooled, but you know what I mean. You, you should know what a sign curve looks like, it's just up, down, up, down, kind of standard curve. I think all of these are default, but if they're not, just copy what I've got, you should be able to see them. 5, 10, 120, 5, 35, 100, 100. And then, whoa. Bear with me. There we go. And you just want to click randomize a few times until you can try and see here. Until you get something that looks good. That looks alright. So we're gonna zoom out and then you can see we got the first part the first part of our curve. I'm gonna repeat this. I'm not gonna make you watch it every time. Basically, you're gonna to go to filter distort wave again, click randomize a couple times, and then click OK. And once you've done that, as you might have seen, I deleted the top layer because I didn't need it. But it was always it's always good to be safer than sorry. <laughs> so just make sure you've got enough duplicates because once you've weighed these, you're going to have to undo it if you want to get the original line back. So we're going to apply some simple layer styles, just an outer glow and an inner glow. We're going to start with outer glow. I think I'm going to go with a blue colour, kind of a cyan type colour. We are going to set the spread to 4 and the size to about uh, 13, that will do. Set the opacity to maybe default, that's fine. <laughs> and then we're going to go on inner glow, set the blending mode, blend mode, excuse me, the blending mode to normal, this tour is going really good, and then change the colour to the same blue as before. Change the size down to about 3 and lower the opacity to about 40%. Once that's done, click OK. As you see, only one of the lines got these effect on. So you're going to want to right click that layer, go to copy layer style, right click the next layer up and paste the layer style on that. Repeat this, rinse and repeat for the rest of the layers. And then you will have your sound waves all glowing and lovely. Kind of looks a bit flat and messy at the moment, so we want to add a bit of depth. To do this, you're going to un unhide, you're going to hide the inner glows of a couple of the layers just to add a bit of variety. And then once you've done that, you can even go back to a couple of them and slightly change the outer glow color. Let's make it a bit different blue. And I'm going to do that on one more. 
just to, as I said before, give it a bit more variety and make it a bit better. Now that's looking good. One final thing, which is kind of optional, which you didn't see on my old one, is to add a bit of a sparkle, sparkly bits. We're going to choose a hard round brush, set it to 3 pixels. Come in here to the right and put the shape dynamics on the size to 100% and put the scattering on 1000%. That's the important bit. And then we are just going to brush on with white some sparkly bits. Might take a while, but you just want to build up these bits in the middle until it looks good. Then we're going to apply just a small outer glow, blue colour, and then tone down the opacity a tad. And then we're just going to set this opacity to about, what should we go for? About 60%, that looks good. And that's about it. Final touches, as always, black to white gradient map set to soft light. Turn the opacity down to about 40% and then as always make a new layer apply the image by going image apply image and then sharpen it by going to filter sharpen sharpen if you're not happy with the colors as I said in my gradient map tutorial um, you just want to make a black to whatever color gradient map you want such as green and then set that to hue or color probably you in this case and that's about it thanks for watching the tutorial I've got lots more to come um, I was thinking of doing some kind of more generalized ones kind of looking into tips which you can use not actual techniques but tips such as composition and flow and color and stuff so be sure to keep watching if you want to see those if you have any other requests as always let me know and I'll see you next time.